Hi, and welcome to Scratch. In this first lesson, we will teach you some of the basics to begin your Scratch projects. Now for the layout of Scratch. On the left, there's a block palette where all the sprites motion is controlled. In the middle is the script area where the blocks can be dragged to move the sprites around. On the right is the stage where your sprites can be viewed. Under the stage is the sprite list where all the sprites in your project can be viewed. On the top is the menu bar, the tool bar, and the view buttons, and also the execution buttons. You can click to see what they do. Now that you know the layout, we can start a new project. Select File, then New. The default to Scratch is for the Scratch Cat to appear. The cat can be deleted by going to the toolbar and selecting the scissors and clicking the cat the cat will disappear now we want to add a new sprite to the project go to the sprite list where you'll find buttons to draw a sprite import a sprite or select a random sprite with this project we're going to import a sprite a menu will appear and go to animals scroll down and select dog to b a dog should appear on the stage and in the script. Now we can rename the sprite to dog. Go to the sprite name bar and type dog. We can now make the dog move. On the block palette go to motion and drag the move 10 steps block to the script area. Also go to controls and drag your forever block to the script area. You can double click a block to test what it does. Double clicking the move 10 steps block will move the dog to the right. Now you want to snap the two blocks together. Double click the blocks and the dog will move off the stage. You can drag the dog back to the middle but it will keep moving until the stop button is clicked. Now dragging the dog back to its original position he will stay. We want the dog to move back and forth across the stage, so go to motion and drag if on edge bounce block to the script and snap it into the forever block. Double click and you will see the dog is moving back and forth, but oh no, the dog is upside down. So stop running the script and use the rotation buttons to fix how the dog is rotated. The bottom of the three will stop all rotation, but we want the dog to be facing where it is going. So we will use the face right and left button, which is the middle one. Now that the script is correct, we can top it off with a hat block so we can control it using the green flag. So go to controls, select when green flag is clicked, and snap it right on top of the forever block. Now every time you click on the green flag, the script should run. And stop it using the stop sign. Now that the motion is correct, we want to animate the dog so it looks like it's running. So go to Costumes and select Import. Another menu will appear just as we saw when importing the dog. Go to Animals and select Dog2C. Click on the Script tab to return to the dog script. Drag a Forever block to the script from the Controls and a Next Costume block from the Looks tab. Double click to test the script. You can see that the dog is moving very fast. So we can add a wait one second block from the controls underneath the next costume block for a smoother transition. You can change the wait time to make the dog look like he's moving faster or slower. Here I'll change it to 0 0.1 seconds. Now that we tested that portion of the script, we can add it to the main script by dragging it out and snapping it into the forever block underneath the green flag. Now to delete unwanted blocks you can use the scissors button that was used in the beginning to delete the cat or just simply drag it off the script area. Now click the green flag to watch your dog walk across the stage. Good job! I want to add a background to the stage 
So click on the stage in the sprite list and select the background tab. Select import and pick one from the menu. I want to go to outdoors and I want to select the playground. To delete a blank background, click the X next to the background. To get back to the dog script, click on the dog in the sprite list and you're back to the script and then back to the script tab. You can drag the dog to make him walk on the ground. Now we can edit one of the dog's costumes to make the dog wag its tail. Click on the costumes tab and select edit button on the second costume. This will bring up a paint editor. You can drag your mouse over the different buttons to see what they do. But the best way is, is to test them out. We'll use the select tool. Each one of the buttons have, has a different command to edit your costume. You can draw your own in or just edit the costume in its original state. We'll use the select tool and highlight the dog's tail. Next, we'll use the flip vertical button to flip the tail upside down and then we'll position it back on the dog. Click OK when you're finished editing. Go back to the script tab and then click on the green flag and watch your dog walk. Now we can make the dog bark. Select sounds and then import. Choose dog1 from the animal folder. It's a bark sound. Now, back in the script tab, we need to write the script so the dog can bark. Drag a when spacebar is pressed lock from the control and also a play bark one until done block from the sounds tab and snap them together. Press the spacebar to test. You can change either the sound or the button by using the drop down menus. Now we can add another sprite to play with the dog click the import sprite button on the sprite list area and select parrot 1a we can resize the sprite by using the minimize button from the toolbar click on the parrot to resize it we can also change the parrot's costume so go to costumes then import and select parrot 1b also we can name the sprite to parrot now we can add movement to the parrot but in a different way we can use the arrow keys to move the parrot around. Drag a when spacebar key is pressed into the parrot's script area. Also, a point direction block and a move 10 steps button. Make sure that the arrow key is matched to where the bird is pointing from the drop down menu. Now we can right click and duplicate for each of the arrow keys. Make sure that the key is matched with where the bird is pointing. Now you can test by pressing the arrow keys. It is moving correctly, but we want it to fly. 
And also, we want the bird to rotate only facing right and left. So use the rotate buttons just as we did with the dog. So add a next costume block to each of the buttons to make the parrot fly. Now that we've did that, test it out by using the arrow keys. The bird should be flying across the screen with every arrow button that you press. There are some cool effects that can be added to the scripts. Add a change color effect by 25 from the look palette. Double click to test. There's a drop down menu with all the effects listed. A green flag hat block can be added so the effect can be controlled. Select a forever block and wrap it around the change color effect block. Double click to test. The colors are changing too fast so add a wait button from the control palette. Also we can add a clear graphics effect and assign it to the C button. To assign it to the C button, select when C is pressed from the control palette. The drop down menu should list every key on the keyboard. Now when the green flag is pressed, the dog walks and the parrot changes color. Now we can make the parrot speak. Add a when space key is pressed from the control palette and also a say hello for two seconds block from the looks palette. Drag that underneath and snap the two together. Change hello to please don't bark at me. Double click the script to test it out. A speech bubble should come up near the bird. Now click on the green flag to start the project. The dog should be walking and the parrot should fly when the key arrows are pressed while changing colors. Press the space bar. The parrot should speak and the dog should bark. Because remember, we wrote the script of the dog to bark when the space key was pressed. Thanks for watching this first lesson. Now go have some fun with Scratch.